Hi, I'm Brett Stahlbaum. I'm here in Pukakura Park in um, New Plymouth, New Zealand, uh, doing a project for the SCANS Artist Residency. I've been here for two weeks working with some local high school or secondary students on a uh, hotspot location-based media project. Uh, it's a project that uses mobile phones and some software that myself and some colleagues are producing to uh, trigger audio files and, and uh, image files at particular locations around the park. So what you see in the rest of this video is um, the, the student projects. I had the opportunity to work with four really, really smart, really creative young people, and uh, this is, these are the projects they unfolded. Uh, hope you enjoy them. All I do is add a robotic voice in. Actually, I used that voice of one of mine as well. <laughs> but I had a UK accent. <laughs> hmm. Well, Antonio, the Are we getting closer to it? Uh, there was a point on that There's grass over there. The Can you push the down button? Yeah. How many meters does it it's say? 20. 20? Okay. <laughs> okay. The world's largest tree in terms of volume. They grow between 50 to 85 meters and 6 to 8 meters in diameter. Although this tree here is not that large, there are many in the United States which have grown to this size. Okay. Can you point to the tree? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. All right, that's looking for satellites, so... Are we crowding around it? <laughs> there we are. Uh, 30 meters. This way. So it just made a beep? Yeah. What's it say on the screen? Do I have to read it out? Yeah. We are, where you are now standing is the first location where I spotted the Mothman. I saw, saw two large glowing red eyes blink twice and disappear into the night sky. Benjamin Channing, cryptozoologist. <laughs> nice. Fish <laughs> How many meters does it say? It's right in the middle of the bridge. Oh, sweet. That's the Mothman. <laughs> I don't actually think I put this one on. Play that beep again. <laughs> nice. It goes, well, it goes with that picture. That was, that, was a good, that was a nice idea you had to, uh, instead of re using uh, audio narrative content, to simply use a beep to, beep to alert the user. Yeah, to alert the user to some visual content. Especially if it's a really strange sound. It's just like... Oh. Okay. In apparently that direction. But are we going to the... Ca oh, no, it's in that direction. Yeah, follow the arrow. Oh, it's behind us now. Within reason, you don't have to walk off into the forest. <laughs> 41 meters that way. 40 meters that way. 38 meters that way. <laughs> 20... Oh, God. That is the number getting this. Should, should I, like, average these directions out? Yeah, you should average them out. This way now. Oh, it's running for it. Oh. Walk faster. I'm being followed. I have to walk faster. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if 
I stepped in across this variable probably non-existent boundary. You have accepted to give time code full rights to store and manipulate all data collected. You also agree to accept full responsibility for any injuries, wounds, acid burns, or deaths that may occur to you, and slash, or your possessions. The full EULA file and user license agreement can be found at http colon slash slash www.test305.net slash ula slash prk.php question mark equal sign js dot seven fp zero four d c h y q nine 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 yeah, follow the arrow to the best of your ability. It's glitching around. Where do you want me to go? Right now it's pointing back. Whoa. Okay. That's like you do online. Very good. Now drop and give me 20. This is for your own safety. What Serena, tell us about that because you, you wrote that. Why is the phone telling um, us to drop and give 20 push ups? <laughs> Funny. It's <laughs> good enough reason for me. <laughs> there are big mean people out there trying to kill you. Simcoe loves you. Simcoe is your friend. You will be safe with Simco. Now go jump into the lake and get me a pail of water. This is for your own safety. <laughs> <laughs>